In this video we're going to be looking at how to do the lineup drill. Since being in lockdown I've seen this drill done on social media quite a lot. It's a really good drill and although it looks simple I know lots of players still struggle with it. I was even sent a video from one of my subscribers showing his attempts at it and it got me thinking about a few things that he could improve on. So I thought I'd just make this short video to talk through how I go about completing this drill and some tips that might help you improve at it. Now I've shown the lineup drill before in another video and there are various formats for this, some harder than others. But in this case we're just looking at the most basic form where you can pot the balls in any order with the black last. There's no other restrictions, the object is just to pot all of the balls. So one of the problems with this drill is that because you can pot any ball in any order, a lot of people tend to think that you can forget about everything else because you'll be on the ball. Now, as with everything in ports, it's really important to keep this cue ball under control. So don't just put the ball down, pop the ball, then I'll be on the next ball. You still need to consider where you're going to be next. And with this drill in particular, there's a few things you need to look out for. You need to avoid being too close to the line. Anywhere along here, the ball ends up in here. You're going to end up very close to the ball, makes queuing difficult. You can have horrible little cuts. And controlling the cue ball is difficult, so keep away from the line if you can. At the same time, we want to keep away from the cushion. If we're too tight on the cushion, our cue is hampered, and we can only really play with top speed. So it limits what we can do with the cue ball. Ideally, you want to be in a channel from about here to about here. This channel down here, either side of the line. And that gives us a nice position to be able to get our hand on the table to cue, and to be able to cue, screw back top speed, whatever we need for our positional shot. The next thing is keep this under control. I've also seen a lot of people do this where they're travelling far too far up and down the table with the ball. The further you travel with the cue ball, the harder it is to predict where it's going to go. If we're coming off a cushion and it's coming off another cushion, travelling a long way, it's difficult to, to anticipate exactly where it's going to end up. If we travel six inches, we know we're going to be pretty close to it. So when you're considering your positional play, try and play little screw back shots, little top spin shots where you're only traveling as short a distance as possible. And then you're gonna keep this under control. And then the final thing with this drill is if you've got ball in hand, the two most difficult balls are the balls at either end. Um, just because they're you know, fairly shallow and you're the corner, not too difficult, but if you're left with a cut on them, they can be difficult. So while you've got ball in hand, get those out of the way as early as possible. So if we start with this one here, Straight shot, we can either screw back a little bit or forward, but I would prefer to play with a little bit of angle if we can. So you've got two, two options. You either play below straight, which means that your tangent line is in this direction, taking you towards the cushion. Now, you're a bit shallow to go back to the middle from there, which means you're going to go up and back down. And again, as I've just said, that means we're already travelling the distance. Not too far, but it's already adding an element of unpredictability. If we go the other side, and we can screw back and we can come back here and we're traveling about six inches as i said before and we're getting to the same sort of position as if we went the other way whilst traveling far less distance so i prefer to screw back now ideally if we can get onto this ball it'd be good but if we overcook it we've got all these balls here so at this early stage yes we don't have to be too precise but we are thinking about an area and keeping the cue ball under control So we're not traveling very far, there's no chance of us getting that position. Now, the other thing with this is you don't have, the drill doesn't have to be done in order from top to bottom. And in fact, you're coming back to play the black last anyway. But what you don't want to do is just pick off balls randomly, leaving bigger and bigger gaps. So you're ending up with one ball up here, one ball up there, because it's difficult. If you can work your way down the line, then it's great. Don't have to stick to it if it's not the right shot to play, but it's a good, good way of looking at it. So if we look at this ball here, the next ball in the line, just off straight and we're just above it. So we could do exactly as we've just done before and screw it back. Or we could just roll through a bit and be over here. Now, this just comes down to personal preference. I, I prefer the screw, screw back shot to control it. I think we can get on a decent angle here. <coughs> so just as we've just done before, just 
about six inches. And then we'll round it to the line. So look at that. Now this time we're slightly below. Only a fraction though, so our tangent line is in this direction. But because we're almost straight, if we hit if we stun this fairly firm, then we can head along this line not too far and then have balls back to the middle pocket, which is perfect. And we should also end up this side of the yellow, which brings back down that direction. So what we need to do is stun this, travel a couple of inches. So we're still working our way down the line nicely. Now we are fractionally below the line, but only a fraction. So screwing back is not really an option because we're going to be on the same line if not higher, which is too steep for the next ball. So now we need to be looking at moving in this direction. So if we follow through from there, then we can either follow through onto this ball, which is hardly any movement, but if we go too far, we'll be on the red. If we go too far, still we'll be on the next red. So it gives us lots of options. We only really need to travel a couple of inches. Now, as I said, we've travelled too far on this one, but we're okay because we're on the next ball. If we look at that one, we can see the tangent line, and that's taking us away from things too much. So we want to be looking at the next ball down, and we can still come back from this ball later. And we can, <coughs> the tangent line here is here, if we stun it again, we could still get that yellow ball back up to the pocket. If we go too far, then we might be on one of these balls, so it's not too bad. Just gentle, we're not flying up and down the table. So, we probably have travelled too far to play this yellow, because then we've got to carry them right all the way up here. The red is too close to the black. So we can look at playing this ball here to get back into these two, and then we get ourselves back down again. So this is sort of the opposite of what we've just done. We play this one here, tangent line takes us this way. We can pull back just a little bit from the tangent line. Um, we don't really want to be going for this one because we're, then we're traveling too far. So we want to be going to the red so that we can pop the red and then get on the yellow afterwards. But if we go too far and we're on the yellow, it's not the end of the world. And actually, we're not too bad on the yellow. We could play the yellow and travel forward from it onto the cushion and be on the red nicely. Remember, we're going to be looking to get to the cushion and off it again. Making sure that we're not stuck on that. So now, <clears throat> this, yellow, this red to the middle. The first time here, we are going to have to travel a bit of distance, but we're trying to get down here anyway, so this is not too bad. Tangent line from there is here, which is in the right direction for here. We're probably going to come slightly forward from the tangent line. And once we're past the black, then really we want to be focusing on this end of the table again, because we then need to work our way back from these back to back to the black. Again. So anywhere down here is, is very good, and we've got a choice of balls. So we just need to focus on the pot. You might even click the black, but should just avoid it. So it doesn't need to be too hard. Probably just below centre so it not accelerating the white ball too much. I did just click the black, but that probably helped us slow the ball down a little bit. And now we've got choice of these balls here. So like I said, ideally we want to get these ones out of the way first. The red ball, we've got to onto the cushion. Um, again, it's travelling a little bit faster, it's probably easier to play this yellow, which is almost dead straight, and just roll through a little bit and leave us a better angle on the red from the other side. So 
So now on this red here, we're almost perfectly straight, just a fraction below it. So if we screw back from that, we're going to be coming back nicely onto one of these balls back to the middle. Now we've got a choice here. We're probably, we're probably, probably aim with this shallow. If we play this red to the middle, the tangent line will take us into this ball. If we play into there, we could get stuck in this line, which is not ideal. We don't know where this is going to hit. So if we play into this one, the tangent line is taking us this way. Now, it would probably be, you could just about hold for this ball, but it's probably going to travel a little bit further, leaving us on one of these two balls back to the pocket. So we know we've got options in here. So now if we look at both of these with the yellow, if we go for the yellow, with this side of it, so our tangent line is taking us down here, a bit close to that pocket, could leave us a shot back to the middle, which would be okay. Travelling quite a long way with the white. If we go this way, then we're travelling, tangent line is this way. So we could quite easily just roll forward from the tangent line to touch and leave ourselves on that yellow or that red, which gives us two options. So that's probably the safer option, and again, the white ball hasn't got to travel so far. So we're here just above centre, just let the ball roll forward and touch. And then we've got our options here now. You can see on the red ball here, because we're low, the tension line is heading up this direction. So that's not great because we're heading away from our next ball. So we need to be looking at the yellow. So if we look at the yellow, tangent line is in this direction. Now, we'll probably travel too far. So again, if we travel forward from the tangent line, a little bit of top spin up right there, we can end up over here somewhere, which will end up nicely on this red. We're just planning ahead a little bit as well. We want to end up low on the red. Well, actually, if we ended up straight on the red, we can follow it through and be straight on the black. So straight would be great. We can do something with either angle though if we don't get straight. So the straight line will be somewhere along this line here. Pretty gentle, we're not looking at travelling very far at all. We're not quite straight, almost, but not quite. But it doesn't really matter because if we'd have been straight, we could follow through. But because we're below the line, we can we can start straight back, we can end up here, going back that way. So we're not dealing with end up here. Don't want to overdo it and end up in the middle pocket. slightly past straight but again there's nothing to worry about and, and just one last thing I'd like to mention here as well as someone sent me a video the other day um, when they were trying to do this and they were struggling with it and although they were thinking everything through really well talking things through they were very negative when things went wrong if this was the situation they'd be kicking themselves because they didn't end up exactly where they wanted to be now you can do that but if I do if I get if I get upset I didn't get the position I wanted there I'm far more likely to miss it. If I was, if somebody left me in this position, I'd be more than happy to come to the table and pop the back because I'm quite confident that I can do it. So if you approach the shots confidently, even if you put yourself in not the best position, you're far more likely to pop short. So line the shot up, which you would do usually. You haven't got to worry about position on the next ball. You're not going to run into the pockets. Take your time, line things up. Be confident. If you want to see more practice routines and pool tutorials then please remember to subscribe and if you're interested in any of the equipment I use in this video then there are links in the description below.